sweetheart. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Happy Halloween. What are you doing? You want to have some breakfast? <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Say hi. She's got out of the bath, so her hair is a little wet and all over the place. Today is actually Halloween, so I'm really excited to dress her up, and we're supposed to go over to some families later as well. Right? Right? And so I'm really excited. The day should be super fun, but really busy. So we had all of these plans to go around the neighborhood. <laughs> Right? But it's supposed to be 50 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 65 miles an hour and I've never experienced that in this area before. It's kind of shocking, especially for the time of year as well. So we might just go over to some family's house for a little bit or they might come here depending um, on, just depending how the day goes now that the weather has destroyed our plans. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make some breakfast and kind of get her ready and get her outfit out. <laughs> Yeah, so we can start celebrating. Yeah? I also need to run out, just, you know, get some Halloween candy. I'm slacking. <laughs> we are also getting my daughter these foam pads for the grounds because she is just running around or trying to run around from like a sitting position up and she's constantly falling and like my mom nerves can't handle it anymore. So I found those like um, soft foam pads that you can just connect on the ground just to give mama some peace of mind here. <laughs> um, but also, I have just had the craziest um, week again. I, my my furnace is completely dead and broken. We had a carbon monoxide scare. It went off once, but then stopped. I didn't think too much of it a few weeks ago, and then it went off again. We had someone come out and look at it, and the carbon monoxide levels were <laughs> through the roof. <laughs> and that's not something, obviously, to mess around with. So we had somebody come out that day to come look at it and, you know, the whole furnace needs to be replaced, which is just so, so annoying. <laughs> I swear my life is always in really extremes. Like it's, it can never be like, oh, the heat's not working. Maybe change the batteries. It's like, no, no, the heat's not working. Oh, you need a whole new furnace. they ain't cheap <laughs> and so it just kind of put a damper in all of these plans i wanted to do and things i wanted to get done you know what are you gonna do we need heat <laughs> so that will obviously take priority for now um and it's just been really cold in here and it just it's just ridiculous i mean we've only owned the house for three months just for that big of a thing to go to have to replace it's just like really we have mini heaters going to help but it's a pretty big property and <laughs> You know, they only do so much, especially when we are getting hit with these extreme winds. The windows are pretty much brand new, but even still, the wind is supposed to go up to 65 miles an hour gusts. It's just, it's really going to be, I think, an intense night. And I'm, I'm just praying, <laughs> and I'm just praying that the electric doesn't go out because I don't know where we're going to go necessarily. If it does, because then we won't have any heat, obviously. <laughs> Oh, so it's just, it's been one of those weeks again, just never ends, you know, it's always something. But luckily they're coming out Monday to uh, completely replace it and all the piping and everything with it. 
so I'll have heat Monday and then I can get back into my filming group but right now I just want to enjoy Halloween with my daughter and just eat something warm right now something warm get cozy and relax for a minute because it's been it's been hectic <laughs> wish I had your fur coat right now are you a llama The llama that's trying to stand. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby <laughs> Say hi guys, happy Halloween I'm a llama Oh, it's absolutely crazy out there and I just can't take her trick-or-treating which I'm upset about but we're gonna run to my mom's instead that way she still can like play around and like fill up her bucket with some candy not that she'll probably care but just to spend a little time with family so I figured that way we could you know kind of still celebrate it because this weather you guys it's no joke we just got back from my parents house <laughs> She's getting really tired, so I'm gonna feed her and get her ready to, for bed, but it was just so much fun. We actually had um, another couple in there, <laughs> adorable baby come over as well. And they, Maddie just, she loves to see people that she, she actually really, and Maddie actually really enjoys seeing, you know, people that she knows and stuff. She's kind of starting to recognize people and it's just the cutest thing. <laughs> and I just had so much fun with her, just dressed up and, really just being the first Halloween that we actually got to build a memory together. She, I, I did have her right before Halloween, but she was just, you know, like a month old, so I couldn't really take her places, obviously. <laughs> so now the tradition can begin, <laughs> right? So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a really happy Halloween and <laughs> were able to dress up your kids in something equally as adorable have a memory that will last forever but we had so much fun and thank you guys for stopping by and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs>